Yo, Bo, welcome to another episode of In the Life with Mighty Fan. We got a pickup edition. I know we've had quite a few of them. It just is what it is, right? They just they keep they keep materializing for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's me. <laughs> but anyhow, I want to give a special shout out to my buddy D for five of these. They're just just immaculate jerseys. Um, glad to have them as part of the collection. I also was able to get a a jersey um, off my like 2023 wish list or hit list if you want to call it that I made mention of before um, and I got another jersey that that's been on my list for a while too so let's get right into them right we got the <coughs> I'm all choked up I always get all choked up about this stuff right so we got some authentics we got some vintage we got we got a unicorn Mitchell and S and we got, we got a little hodgepodge of different things, all right? So let's get right into it. We got, I want to say, three of the four, actually four of the four sports, because I got another one in the other room that I forgot to bring over. So let me go do that right now. <laughs> um, because I would be remiss if I didn't show this. This is, uh, and we'll start with this one. So this is the... Um, the 2022-23 uh, City Edition Dallas Mavericks Luka jersey. It is the um, the Swingman version. This one took forever and a day to get to me from um, I just had something on the floor. I didn't move. Uh, from um, uh, oh goodness, I think it was NBA Shop. And now they're all under the Fanatics umbrella, so is what it is but the funny thing is people who ordered the authentics got them before i got the swingman version it just makes no sense why they took so long maybe it was a back order i have no idea i ordered it on the first day these things were available when the c editions came out and it just and, and i knew because even on the the thing it said special event item could take a little while to, to, to ship out and it took until january <laughs> But it is what it is. It's in the hands now, so, you know, it's all good. I really like the design of this one. Uh, this has got to be one of my favorite Maverick City Edition jerseys. I like last year's a little better when they did the 75th, when they did that. You know, just a hodgepodge of all their kind of history in one jersey. But this one is nice, too, because, again, it has the old-school colorway, the, the navy blue. You got the green and white. Um, that Dallas across the front is very nice. I don't mind Dallas on a Mavericks jersey, on a Cowboy jersey. That's a, yeah, that's that's where the Eagle fan just gets a little, yeah, I get that 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 twin, that that tinge, and just Dallas. But no, the uh, the Mavericks are okay by me. So I have uh, the uh, the Luca. You know, everything's pressed on as it is with Swingman jerseys. This is actually one that if I had the chance early enough, I would have gotten the authentic. The only one available at the time was the Swingman. So that's what I took. I wanted the authentic, but it's just one of those that I'm like, I don't want to like wait and then it hits and I miss it. And who knows? I just wanted to be guaranteed to get one. So I got this. Now, maybe someday I get the authentic too. I like it that much that I would get the authentic too in this. But we'll see. I think the only place I can find is like Mav Shop and there's no paying for available there. So I, uh, <laughs> with, with YouTube. So the Mavs haven't exactly gotten with the program of the paying for system on uh, YouTube, but it is what it is. Maybe someday, but we do have the, uh, MFFL. I believe that's Mavs fan for life, which again, I'm sorry to Mark Cuban. I'm a Sixer fan, but there's the Mavericks, uh, and the, uh, the jock tag, but there you go with the Side trim, very nice, and and I know that the authentic in this looks amazing, you know. So, this looks good enough, but I mean the authentic too. Amazing job by the Mavericks this year on their city edition jersey. Some people don't like the wishbone uh, neck collar. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I think it's kind of you know, you know. I, I can give, I can take it or leave it. You know, it is what it is. But uh, you know, I really like it. I think they did a nice job at. It, it finally came in the mail. It did. It was uh, it was the last of the whole. I got the hat for it. I got the hat. I got the Steph Curry. I, I've had the Embiid. 
Luca <laughs> was the one that was like, we're going to wait. We're going to wait till the last possible second. And then we're going to send it to you. Yeah. When I got it. Uh, this is, uh, now we're going to get into the, the hall from my buddy D. Um, so shout out to D. He was over this weekend. Dropped these bad boys off for me. And so this is the first. We got that LT um, Powder Blue Authentic Reebok. Right there. I really like the Reebok era jerseys. They're just always just super comfortable on me. And they just, they, they just, they, they pop. I know some people don't like the, you know, don't like the sleeves or whatever. But to me, I, I really like them. I prefer sleeves like this to like what they were today where they're kind of up to here. And, you know, they're nice jerseys. I've seen them. I've tried some on. I just, I'm not in love with them. I'm not in love with the Nike Authentics. I like the Reebok Era ones. Yes, they were boxy. Yes, they were, what, but, but I still like these. I prefer these to the Nike stuff from today. But, you know, to each his own, right? Um, here's the, uh, the jock. You got all the particulars right there. You got the NFL Equipment Shield. The 21 is double stitched, beautiful jersey. You know, you can never go wrong with the with the powder blue chargers, right? You have the bolts right there, of course, on the sleeves, the 21. And this does complete the set because I do have the authentics in the navy blue and the white from this era for Tomlinson, um, whose TCU Horn Frogs got dogged up on the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the collegiate championship game. So sorry about that to LT, but... Um, but yeah, there's his Chargers jersey. I do want to get his TCU jersey someday. That would like, like complete the Tomlinson set for me, I guess. Because I, I, I like the other Charger jerseys that they wore like later years. So maybe get one of those or so. Maybe the powder blue version. Somewhere I have a replica one. Somewhere in one bin or bag or who knows where it is by now. But, um, but to get his TCU number five jersey would be pretty cool. Um, so yeah, LT. Powder blue, again, fit, uh, finishes off the trifecta for Tomlinson in this era, which is the favorite jerseys that he's he wore as a Charger of that, that, you know, from what I remember him in. This one, this next one's a very uh, rare piece because it's the white version. You see the blue version of this a decent amount in authentic starter, um, uh, you know, jerseys of, but the white ones are... They're tough to get, so I was able to get the white Elvis head. Yes, I know, Adam, Mac, there you go. <laughs> Mighty Finn got another Patriots jersey <laughs> in the fold, right? They're like, oh, we finally got a good team. Yeah. How those Patriots doing in the playoffs this year, boys? How are they doing? They're doing all right? No, they're not in. Oh, okay. So anyhow, there's the... <laughs> There is the, uh, there is all the particulars, right? You know, I, I love, this is my favorite all-time Patriot jersey. I know they had a ton of success in what they, what they wore for that time. The Brady years, right? I, I know. But this one, and I know they lost that Super Bowl wearing this jersey to the Packers way back when. Um, but this is, this style is my all-time favorite. And I hear they might be wearing the blue one at some point as a throwback. I can't wait to see it. I, I, I'm a sucker for these. I am. I have an authentic Curtis Martin blue in this, and now I have a Bledsoe um, in the white. And I'm glad to have both. I'm glad to have at least one of each, you know, because that's – I think these are, are, are in authentic form. I mean, if you're a serious collector, you have to have at least one white and one blue in this because it, it's just a beautiful jersey. Um, so you got the NFL shield right there. It's a starter authentic. Does have the little players association tag on the inside. You got the Patriots logo across stitched on double stitching on the 11 on the front. You got the starter, you know, logo on the sleeves. Of course, the 11s are double stitched. Just oof, my goodness. And I know Mitchell Ness made these in like the legacy line and uh, <laughs> now look, they're nice for what they are, right? They're not supposed to be perfect. But if you ever have a chance in an authentic, or if Mitchell Ness ever makes an authentic in these, and they better do them right. They better do them right if they do. I don't want to see small Elvis heads. 
on the shoulders. Um, so yeah, th these are definitely, definitely, you know, ones you want to try to find and add, you know, that logo big, look at that big coming all the way down on the shoulders. It's so gaudy, but it's beautiful. Uh, the blood cell on the back on a nameplate, single stitch, double stitching again for that 11. Yep. Before there was Brady, there was Drew. <laughs> when Drew got hurt, that started Brady, right? So, um, but no, the uh, the Patriot missile, Drew Bledsoe, right there, the number 11 white jersey. And everything pops so much in that white jersey. I really wish they were more available. And there may have been a time where they were, and everyone just gobbled them all up, right? Once really people started really sinking their teeth into collecting. Oh, goodness. In fact, if I remember correct, I remember an episode of Cribs. And this is, this is the jersey head in me, right? I remember Snoop. And he's a big Steelers fan, keep in mind. But I remember Snoop when they did Snoop's Crib. And he came out with a Willie McGinnis Patriots. I think it was the white one, if I'm not mistaken. It could have been the blue one. I remember the white one, but, you know, it doesn't. The memory isn't as good anymore. But um, he was wearing an authentic Willie McGinnis. And I just, oh. I'm like, oh, if I ever have a chance. <laughs> um, but no, let's keep it moving. Just other rare gems right here. This one is a is a ripe on jersey. I don't have a lot of these in my collection. And maybe I should get more. Beautiful jersey. I remember, um, rest in peace to Ron, when Ron had this. D got this from Ron. I salivated over it then. I salivated it again when it was available for sale, and I uh, I try not to salivate now so I don't get the jewel on it. But here's the uh, you you, ha you you have to be a jersey head to understand. There's certain jerseys that just you fall in love with, and this is one of them. Mitchell and Ness to date, and I say to date, has never done an authentic white Eric Dickerson jersey. They did the blue one with the 40. They never did the white one. They did a legacy version, which is fine for what it is, but this is an authentic Ripon ED. Everything pressed on as it should be with the 40. Oh, oh God. Breaking necks with this thing. I know. That, 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 and you got the ram horns with the 20 and everything pressed on. The ram horns, though, are a different material as they should be. Look at that. You got the you got the the um the mesh material on this. Oh my goodness. Oh, stop, mighty fan. Oh, the back though. You got the big Dickerson name on the, you know, pressed onto the nameplate. 29 pressed on again as it should be. Oh. Oh, getting weak need holding this thing. <laughs> Fits me perfect too. I put this on. I was a little worried. Because you think of like, you know, you think of, um, you, you, you think of vintage jerseys and I'm a bigger guy. All right. So yeah, it kind of worries me sometimes, but I knew I had to have this. I had to have this. There's the old jock tag right there. Ripe on. Oh, and I saw some of the Ripe on jersey slim owns. Beautiful. And they all just do a wonderful job. I see some of you trying to challenge. What, Slim? What, you, you, you all trying to challenge me to wear this, huh? I know. Mighty fan, wear your shit. All right. All right. You want it? You got it. All right. All right. I'll wear I'll put it on. It's not quite the jersey of the day. <laughs> but um, it is the jersey for this video. Okay? The jersey for this video. So this will be a future jersey of the day down the road. All right. Oh no. Stop. Oh no. No, he date. Oh yes, he does. Oh my goodness, my goodness. Oh, it just feels right. It <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. It feels right. Oh, put get me behind that line. Come on. Huh? The ball. <laughs> I just need those big goggles, right? Oh, look at this. All right, wait a minute. It's it's not complete. It's it's not complete. It it needs. Oh no! Now it's oh now it's complete. 
Now it's complete. Oh, stop. <laughs> have to have the right hat. Doesn't work without it. So, um, this, beautiful. Beautiful jersey. This, this thing is, oh, this, this, is, this is definitely one of the top. I'd probably have to say one of the top. 10, 5, you know, whatever, wherever you want to go. It's in the top echelon of the of the football collection for sure. It's rare, super rare, and it's mine. So, you know, I'm sorry to break the hearts, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, to be seen down the road in the jersey of the day for Mighty Fan, right? So, anyhow, let's keep going. Because it doesn't stop here with the Rams. It doesn't stop here with the Rams, okay? It keeps going. Because now we're going to go with Mitchell and Ness. We're going to go with the older run, number 12, Joe Namath. This is a USA run. Oh, look at the, look at the vinyl pressing. Oh, good Lord. They don't make them like this anymore. <laughs> Woo! And like I said, I did get one last year, but the previous owner did something i don't know they you know now now the fit of this is a little different than some others but it's it, it works you know it gets a job done but they 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 did something they 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 um altered it you know so made it more like a pro cut and it was uh it was a little thin when you got down to the to the, to the bottom of it um everything pressed on as it should be you do have that nameth Pressed on to the nameplate, 12. Again, the ram horns around the sleeves with the 12. All right. Beautiful jersey. I do have the China run of it, too. I'm going to keep it because it fits good, too. And it's slightly different than the, the older, you know, USA run, just by material and whatnot. So it ain't going anywhere. So <laughs> you back off, you vultures. I know. It ain't going anywhere. Once they come to the mighty kingdom... They stay in the Mighty King, all right? So anyhow, there's that one. And now we have the Unicorn. Now we have the Unicorn. By the way, the name of is a 19... It's a 1970s. It doesn't have the year tag, but it's a 1970s Rams name. Of. This is... Okay. So, here we go. Here we go with a Unicorn Mitchell Ness jersey. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> we got that number 16. It's not Jared Goff. No, no, don't worry about Jared Goff. This is, this is the number 16 Mitchell Ness Los Angeles Rams jersey. Circa 1976. Ron Jaworski. That's right. <laughs> Uh, before he was Jaws with the Eagles, he was with the Rams. He was drafted by the Rams. He was a Ram. Then he came to the Eagles, where, of course, he would have success, go to a Super Bowl, didn't win it. I, I know, I know Pistol. I know Snacks. I know who beat them that year. I, I know the Ray. All right, but uh, obviously had his probably his most success with the Eagles, but was a Ram. He wore number 16, and look at that. You're going to see it in this vid, but you're not going to see it out very very often. Out and about in the public, because this is a unicorn jersey. There, This is a limited run were made uh, back in the day. And uh, I believe, if I remember correct, and it is just, uh, you know, Slim's got one. I remember when Snacks had his, and then Slim got it from Snacks. I got this from my buddy D. You just don't see this one very often. You'll see fakes of it, and you can always tell they're fake because the numbers are stitched. Not supposed to be stitched. These these authentic Mitchell Ness vintage Ram jerseys, right? So you got the pressed on numbers. Look at that shine. All right, stitched don't shine like that, okay? <laughs> so it's supposed to be pressed onto the jersey, right? Uh, this is an older Made in USA run. Just beautiful job. Peter uh, Capolino did a great job with this one. Um, obviously, there was interest in Jaworski with his ties to the Eagles, so they decided to make his Rams jersey, and I'm glad they did. <laughs> Just for something a little different, and it's, like I said, beautiful jersey right here. Jaworski, 
name pressed onto the uh, to the nameplate onto the back. There's nothing stitched on this jersey. The ram horns are that different material, but again, the 16 on the sleeves are pressed, like you see on like you see on ED right on this Ripon jersey. You see it on the Mitchell Ness jerseys for the authentic runs. And there it is, 16 on the front as well. Gonna go with that older run jock tag right there. And you got the deep inside neck tag. That's how you know it's a USA run. Got the deep inside. You learned that from Throwback King back in the day. Shout out to Throwback King, right? And he was the first I ever saw with this. That's the first time I saw this. And then Slim got it. And I remember <laughs> Slim was over, I forget if it was last year or the year before, and he was wearing this. And I just fell in love with it. I, I mean, seeing it in person and seeing it on someone, it was like, ooh, that, that is a, that's a sexy jersey. <laughs> I need one, but it's so hard to find. So when I saw my buddy D was selling it, I, I, I paid a, a bit, bit more than I usually do, but I, I, I got it. <laughs> you know, you don't worry about how much you pay when you have it in your hand. But I actually got a decent deal on it, and it's in the collection where it will stay. I told D he can visit it from time to time if he wants to. And, <laughs> and um, but definitely a beautiful piece of Mitchell Ness history. An old run, USA run, Ron Jaworski, 76 Rams before he was an Eagle, right? He actually spent some time with the Chiefs. They never made that jersey. <laughs> but they did do his Rams and, of course, his, his Eagles. They made a couple of Eagles. They made the green, the Kelly green, of course, and the... Uh, the the uh, the white version. All right, so these are so those are that's the that's the set I got from my buddy D. These are ones I got off eBay, including like I said, this is one of those that I uh, um, that I I said I, I wanted to try to find the set before the end of the year. If I can get the set of these, it would be awesome. And if not, you know, it is what it is. These are hard to get. They can cost a little bit of bread if you do see them, particularly all done up, right? But I did get the New York Islanders. I call it, It's called the Col Colgate. It's not quite the Fisherman because it doesn't have the Fisherman logo on the front, but it does have the waves. It's the same jersey. The only difference is the, is the crest on the front. So they went with the Islanders crest for these. They also had, of course, the, the Fisherman crest, which is more of the one everyone remembers. But um, you have the, the Islanders logo. This is a vintage starter, 2XL. Um, you do have the numbers on the sleeves. Um, sleeves, look at that, that's crazy. Uh, you know, the stripes and everything. You do have the Lighthouse logos on the shoulders, which would be cool if someday the Islanders actually put this on the front of this. Like as a as a reverse retro or an alternate jersey or something. I think that would look really sharp if they ever did that. Because that's a pretty cool logo right there, you know. And you do think Islanders when you see it. Uh, it is a Ziggy Palfy jersey. So there is his name. There is his number. Palfy 16 on the back. You do have the starter and the Eastern Conference logos on the very bottom. Really nice, super comfortable jersey. It's a little lightweight. You know, some hockey jerseys can be a little heavy. Just, just their design, right? Because you wear them in the cold. You wear them on the ice. Um, but this one is has a little bit of a lightweight to it. So it's very, very comfortable. And I did get this hat. As soon as I got this jersey, I thought of this hat. I had this hat on my watch list for a while on uh, Macari. So this is the Hat Club uh, cool fashion, if you will, hat for the NHL. They did part of their set. And this, is go this goes with the Islanders, the Fishermen. Any from that era, and you have the Mets. I call it the Fisher Met, because <laughs> uh, it does go with the Fisherman, or you know any of those the Colgate or whatever you want to call these jerseys. Oh, oh no, mm. just too too much, too much. So anyhow, <laughs> there's the combo wombo for that to be seen in the future. Hint, hint. But you all get to see these first on on YouTube, right? So you're all lucky in that regard. So, yeah, Ziggy Palfy, this is the first. So, this would be one. Then, basically, the navy blue of this and the home and away for the actual Fisherman logo on there. And then the reverse retro 2.0. And that pretty much is the five that completes the set. 
If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll see. These can be hard to get, particularly with the name and number already on it, and they can cost a little more. Now, I got a decent deal on this. I, I made an offer. They accepted the offer. Okay, cool. We got it at a decent price. But some of these, if you see them, already done up with name and number, and particularly if they have the 25 patch on there. That 25th, I want one with the 25th, Annie. Oh, I do. And <laughs> on there, it just ups the price. But then again, there's the paying for option. Yes, there is. <laughs> um, so there's that. Last but not least, this has been one on my hit list for a while. My buddy Big Slim, uh, I, I legit checked this with him. He said it was good. We're good. So we have this in the fold. We got that Gaylord Perry. Rest in peace, of course, to him. The home Texas Rangers. I've had the, 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 the light blue road version for quite a while, which at the time was the one I wanted more. And at the time, you did see the white, you know, the white home versions, a pretty decent amount with the road. And then they both became very scarce. And this just became one that I really wanted to get. You do have the old school, you know, uh, patch logo. You got the, the stripes for the, uh, the cuffs of the sleeves. Both sides right there, same deal. You have the two buttons going there. Rangers across the front. It does have a little star, you know, logo. The Ranger, you know, deal there on the bottom of the R, which is a pretty nice little touch. Mitchell and Ness, old run. You got the Perry 36, no nameplate. This is all um, double stitched. And this is a USA run. Old school. Old gold. Shout out to J-Dub, right? Uh, 1976. So we have a couple 1976. It's slim. 7-6. Seven, 7-6. Six, seven, six. 1976 jerseys, right? So there it is. The home Gaylord Perry Texas Rangers. Yes. Very nice. I'm glad to have it. This is one of the ones that was, that was bothering me that I didn't have in my collection. So I'm glad I was able to get one. Now I just need that, that, um, the Road Mariners. I still need that, that light blue Road Mariners, Perry, because I have the home one. Need the road one at some point. At some point. That's, that's it. I think I showed everything, right? Yeah, that's everything. So, <laughs> um, so I hope you all enjoyed this, like, close to... Uh, 28 minutes of joy for Mighty Fan to show the collection, to show the latest pickups, I should say, and adds to the collection. Um, hope you're all doing well. Um, things are going okay here. Had a bit of a busy weekend. Had some buddies over, including my friend D. My buddy Anthony was over. We went over to the Mitchell Nest store. He'd never, he's never been there prior to yesterday, and had a great time. Uh, it was, it's, you know, it's always fun just to hang with friends and have some fun, right? And uh, uh, that is pretty much it. I do intend to do a season of the fan vid that I've been meaning to do for a while. I, I do want to get to it. I know the playoffs are here. Eagles know who we're playing on Saturday night, the New York football giants. We just got to continue to beat them. That's all. <laughs> but we'll have a vid about that upcoming game sometime before the end of the week. And... Whatever else may come my way, um, I will definitely, um, definitely share with you, the viewer. Uh, I do have a Jersey project that I want to get to um, that I will be going over in the future vid as well. So be on the lookout for that. I'm probably looking at that sometime in early February, though, because I have to go somewhere to get it done. And uh, I'll, I'll talk a little more on that. I'll show the Jersey I'll talk about what I want to have done, why I got the jersey. I mean, I never really need a reason. But this one, I, <laughs> I needed a particular reason to get this jersey for a specific reason. And we're going to go over that in that vid. So be on the lookout for that. Some weeks away, but just letting you know for now. We're going to continue with the jersey of the day picks on Facebook groups, on Instagram. It's fun. I have been clowned on it a little bit. And it is what it is. I'm just going to keep doing it. i got to be me. You know, that's, that's all it says. I got to be me. <laughs> so I'm going to keep doing it <laughs> in a fun way, clown. Some of the other Jersey heads are having some fun with me. And, you know, it is what it is, Slim. It is what it is. Don't worry. 
There's always festive Slim. There's always... <laughs> you can't do it. I'm not responsible for what Festive may or may not do or, you know, call the, the Woodland friends over there and we're in your neck of the woods to scare you at night. It's not my responsibility. <laughs> Anyhow, we, on that note, we're going to end, okay? So, <laughs> so I hope everything's going well for all of you. Thanks for tuning in. What do you always got to do, right? You got to leave those likes. Like, 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 like. Oh, this jersey. Oh, boy, this is this special. This is special. Woo! Anyhow, this, this looks good. I got to do the King Leo. No, it looks good. Oh, it looks good. What up, you two? It looks good. <laughs> Anyhow, you got to leave those likes. You got to make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hit the bell icon so you get notified to all future content from yours truly. You never want to miss an episode, right? All right, everyone, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.